back to another episode of Bandy Yarns. Yeah, baby. Bandy, the baby. only podcast for the hood. From, From the, the hood, hood man. You already know, it's also J5. What's good, man? It's Swanny. And it's also Tough Sanger, man. What's good, baby? Bro, and on today's episode, Jeez. we got that guy, man. We got that guy. <laughs> we got, got him. Yeah. We got him. <laughs> we got that guy off that dog. Yeah, yeah. Bro. Bro, I just finished watching that video where you carry the boat. Like... Actually carrying a boat <laughs> like, Down the road jeez. Like, Come on bro What the fuck Hey everyone give it up to Also Jaden Lane Let's Come on baby Let's go How's it going Good to be here Good to be here Also bro Let's go bro Welcome brother Welcome Oh bro. my gosh bro How many people have been asking for this motherfucker right here bro? <laughs> hey, He's one thing he's got him alright <laughs> Hey okay bro, bro, bro like, down, oh, down. oh get Jaden Lane Get up I don't give a fuck about Jay yeah. <laughs> Me too. I don't care about him either. <laughs> nah, honestly, man. Ever since we done that little uh, gym video, when yeah, you came down yeah, to that little session together. Yeah, bro. bro. I've had heaps of people like, bro, when are you getting on the body? Uh, yeah, yeah, just yeah. waiting for the call up, waiting for the Come call up, baby. Just, like I said before off camera, bro, this guy took us through the most out of it workout, bro. Yes. Like 10 minutes in, I'm, yeah, sweet, sweet. 20 minutes in, all right, I'm feeling it. 30 minutes in, I'm like, God, I can't move. <laughs> 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 how do you get into how do you get into all of that, bro? Like, because you, I've, I've seen a, a video of you saying you've been doing videos ever since you were a kid, and you'll do it regardless of views or not. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I've made videos since I was a little kid. Um, and I mean, like, do you want to know how I got into the, making videos, or you want to know how I got into the start gym? from the start, bro? Far out. Let's, let's chop it start. up, man. Yeah, bro. bro tell us about growing up in Sea Town and stuff. Yeah, growing just up in Campbell Town, dude. Just like every other Islander kid in uh, Southwest Sydney, Campbelltown, born mm. and raised. Uh, I just wanted to play footy and uh, surrounded by other Islanders and and uh, just very blessed with mm. my, my upbringing and, mm. and the way I was raised. I, I'm, I'm very bro. blessed with my parents, um, our culture and, and our upbringing and everything. Yeah, honest man, I'm just so blessed. Eh? Yeah. What I'm are your cultures, so grateful. Uh, so my, my dad's Samoan, Fijian, and mom's Chilean. Awesome. And uh, yeah, grew up in Campbelltown and... Uh, just like every other kid wanted to play NRL, just wanted yeah, to play yeah. footy and yeah. then go through that program, uh, that pathway. Yeah. Um, I never cracked NRL. Uh, I did all the junior uh, development. Mm -hmm. I did uh, Harold Matthews, SG Ball, SG that, um, yeah. under 20s um, developments and stuff like that. I never cracked New South Wales Cup, but I did like Ron Massey Cup and and uh, other like levels just before mm -hmm. New yeah, South Wales yeah, Cup. Yeah. But um, yeah. I bro, I guarantee you, bro, the people that cracked that New South Wales Cup of fucking burning that you're in the position you are yeah. now. Nah, 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 nah. Not burning, but they're like, fuck, this guy's doing big things, bro. I feel like oh, you're yeah, a testament 100. to like, footy's not the only route, you know what I mean? Yeah, oh, bro. man. If that's one thing I've learned in my lifetime is is that 100%, yeah. bro. Because your coach was a big, big um, person for you in your life, eh? Yeah, so I, I just played for Campbelltown Collegians, uh, just a local footy team in, mm. uh, in Campbelltown where I, where I was born and raised. And um, my local coach... Uh, got us on board and um, so it, it's a funny story how I actually met the coach as well is I actually rocked up to Campbelltown Collegiate because bro back when I used to play footy it's very different to how it is now but there used to be three divisions so first We can't have you on the team. You didn't make yeah, it. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that's all good. So I went and played for another team. And when I played for that other team, I ran a muck against this oh, team that, that oh, I didn't yeah, make yeah, it. Yeah. I ran a muck and I had a hectic game, like ran the whole field, scored tracks, <laughs> shots on their biggest players and that. And then he came up to me after the game and he goes, I just want to say sorry. You know, <laughs> that was the team. But next year, you know, uh, we, I would really love if you came down to play for us. Yeah. So then I did. And um, yeah, we actually got really close. He actually got into the West Tigers development, like coaching staff coaching. as well. Yeah, right. And then, and then, yeah, it was crazy because we'd built a real good relationship. And then from that relationship that we built from just junior mm -hmm. local uh, footy to then Tigers, then he moved to America and mar married an American woman mm, and then yeah, started yeah. coaching uh, mm. a men's rugby team called See the Kansas that, City like. Blues in America, which is then, oh. that was oh, my pathway yeah, into getting into it. Yeah, yeah. That was how I got over to play rugby in America. Yeah. Hey, God, bro, that's yeah. 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 You, you're on college too, eh? Yes, I, 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 yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I, 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 Should I, we know him better yeah. than you yeah. know <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for bringing that up. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, uh, uh, I moved to America just for three months. So I'd, I'd finished high school and I was going to Western Sydney University and I was studying to be a paramedic. Mm. And oh, right. yeah, nice. uh, well, yeah, that was the plan. Yeah. And then <laughs> uh, I ended up deferring because then he was like, just come over to America 
um, play three months of just a summer rugby tournament. Mm. So three months, play rugby, and then you go back and go back to your normal life and do whatever. Just come for fun and whatever. Mm. So that's what it was. I was just going to go play men's rugby in America mm. and then go back to studying and in, in my normal life. Ended up going three months and then uh, <laughs> my first game was against, uh, well, it was like a trial game against Palmer University, mm. right? And uh, I played pretty well. And um, after the game, we have to go into like a pub for our like presentation. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I walked in and I showed my ID and he goes, you can't come in, man. You're not 21. <laughs> I was like, said, bro. what? 21? Yeah. And then, yeah, so the drinking ages in America is 21. 21. Yeah. But all the boys that we played against, a lot of them were under 21 as well. And they were like, wait, you're not even 21 years old. <laughs> and they were shocked. And they were like, dude, you got four years of college rugby eligibility and all this stuff. And then, that was it kind of word just got around that yeah, um, yeah. I was still like, was still, young. still quite young. And, yeah. Then, um, and then, yeah. Uh, three month uh, little holiday rugby turned into three years of a college rugby scholarship and then I, I ended up living in America for three years bro what college did you go to? I went to Davenport University in Michigan uh, Grand Rapids, Michigan yeah. Oh. yeah did you have to study as well? yeah so I studied nursing Oh yeah. yeah, you were registered nurse. No, nah, I didn't finish. I only did oh. one year, and then I this guy's up... only there for the footy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally, bro. So, like, <laughs> so like, yeah, like growing up in Campbelltown, now I was like, like I was, I was surrounded by a lot of other Islander boys that wanted to do different stuff. But one of my closest boys, Lux, he actually went to university as well, and he was doing um, is it like project project management? Oh, yeah, 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 right. yeah, project management. Yeah, he was doing project management, and I was like, man, this guy's like the only Islander that I know that's gone to, gone uni, to uni, you know what yeah, I mean? Like, yeah. I don't know any other Islander that's gone to uni. Mm. And it really like, kind of like influenced me. And then I thought, oh, you know what stuff, I'm gonna go to uni as well. Mm. So then I, I went through like the college pathway and then I got into university and I was doing paramedicine, but I still had the high school mentality that I was yeah, gonna yeah. go into uni and just cruise through it, just like I did through high school. Yeah, but yeah. yeah, I definitely didn't. Nah. I got a, yeah, I got a huge shut up, wake up call. Eh? Mm, right. And um, there, then went over to uh, America and, because they didn't have paramedicine at in at the university that I went to, they were like, well, your grades are like, you know, pretty decent. Did you want to do nursing? And I was like, holy moly, like, this is crazy, Fucking man. Nice. Like, yeah, I, I never thought about yeah. that. I never thought of that was even possible, but yeah, 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 stuff it, I'll do it. And I had a crack and I did one year of college rugby and then I got offered to play um, for the international <laughs> Chilean the, the Chilean national team in rugby. Shit. And then so they were, yeah, so it was like, that, bro, it was just one thing after another. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just on a high, bro. Like life was absolutely amazing. Yeah. And so I did one year of college rugby and then I got the gig to go play uh, for the Chilean the national Chilean, team. And then yeah, I moved yeah, to Chile yeah. and lived there for three months. And throughout that three months I did um, Argentina, Uruguay, Canada, uh, USA, and yeah, Brazil. Mr. Bro, what? <laughs> Damn, bro. This guy needs a Netflix documentary, oh, bro. bro. Oh, yeah, I've, done so, I've come, lived a hundred lifetimes, bro. bro honestly, I've done so many yeah, different bro. things, eh? And even now, like, you did that when you were young. The shit you're doing yeah, now, bro. You like, can see bro. why you're still doing it now, bro. Yeah. You grew yeah. up with that stuff. Yeah, much, yeah, yeah, yeah. Even your dad marrying a Chilean, bro, fuck. Your dad was Samoan or? Yeah, oh, so my dad's Samoan Fijian and my dad was uh, born and raised in New Zealand. He grew up in Avondale in New Zealand and then uh, moved to Australia and um, met my mum when he yeah, when, when they were both quite young. My dad moved to Australia when he was like 20 years old mm. and my mum moved to Australia when she was like five. So she oh, was real young, yeah. 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 But then, um, yeah, once my dad moved over here, met my mum and uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Oh, and then oh, we got really? this guy. Yeah. <laughs> now we got they, Mr. Uh, Worldwide. Yeah, they, uh, they both moved to Macquarie Fields. So that's a, that's a suburb Mac in, Fields, in yeah, Campbelltown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mac uh, Fields. Uh, yeah. True. So they've, they've been in Sydney ever since? Yeah, yep. What made you move Brizzy or GC? Oh, to GC. Um, so after like traveling and doing multiple different things and, you know, playing for the Chilean national team, then playing pro rugby and then uh, living in America for three years, the the plan was to come back. And then my my manager was like, oh, we'll get you over in France. And oh, I was like, oh, oh heck, shit. Yeah, top 14. Well, so um, it wasn't for oh, the high yeah. level. It was like just before. So oh, that I way, I, I, it was like a trial uh, before I, I played yeah, over there. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, oh yeah, hectic keen. You know, I'll just go over there, live in France for a year and uh, play some rugby over there. Union? Yeah, oh, rugby yeah, union. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then um, uh, oh, I ended up breaking my leg. My leg. Yeah, yeah, oh, I broke my God. leg. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I snapped my uh, femur. Fe no, not my femur. My uh, fibula. Mm. Fibula or fibula? Frick, I don't even know now. Yeah. I freaking forgot yeah, yeah. it. Formula. Like yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I snapped one of the small bones in my leg and then, uh, yeah, I didn't walk for nine weeks. And Fuck. and then, uh, yeah, I decided, frick, 
I'm just gonna go gym hard out while yeah. I was on the thing. And quite a lot of my social media stuff kind of did quite well as well. Yeah. So mm. I was posting heaps of videos of me in the gym, like on the little knee scooter yeah, thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, I'd yeah, ride yeah, around yeah. on the knee scooter and I'd do different stuff like that. And- um, I remember those videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a lot of those videos did quite well. And it was funny because then while my leg was broken, I got sponsored by EHP Labs as well. Mm, so I got the call shit. up from them and I got sponsored and I was thinking, bro, a lot of my videos are doing quite well. I'm getting now sponsored by EHP Labs, which is like a sponsored like gym athlete. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, man, I think maybe the gym's mm. the way to go, eh? Yeah. And uh, yeah, I've kind of like- Code Lang. Code Lang. Yeah. 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 And then uh, yeah, now uh, I'm a sponsored uh, athlete and um, and I just do gym full time and social media full time. And, <laughs> and then um, because the original plan was to go over to France and that all went to crap. I was like, damn, I don't want to stay in Campbelltown because I, I was living in Campbelltown. Mm. And I was like, man, I don't know. Um, the people that I'm surrounded by, we're not doing the same stuff. Right? Yeah. I'd wake up early in the morning and I'd go run Coogee stairs and I'd be like, anyone keen? Nah, no one's keen. Yeah, what are you yeah, doing yeah. Saturday night? Oh, go to the pub. Oh yeah, I'm not really into that. I'm yeah, not really yeah. doing that, nothing like that. I was working mm. seven days a week as well as training and making videos yeah, and doing, like, doing heaps. Yeah, I was I, I oh, literally out of shit. would sleep there like four, well, I'm still sleeping like four or five hours and then straight onto the next thing. Mm. But um, I didn't want to be stuck in Campbelltown surrounded by other people just doing the same thing mm. in the yeah. same mm. like cycle. Yeah, and then yeah. I just thought, man, I just gotta change it up. And a lot of my family already live here in Gold Coast. Yeah. So I was like, oh, I might just go to Gold Coast and just see what happens. Give it yeah. a crack, eh? Yeah, right. and I just, well, uh, I was living with my mom in a in like a house and that lease had ran out and I didn't renew it. Mm. So then my mom had moved out and she now mo has moved in with her, like with a friend. Mm. And I put all my stuff into like a- um, Storage. Yeah, like a storage unit. Yeah, yeah. And I was just bouncing from the boy's house yeah. until oh, I got really? a place yeah, here. Yeah. Yeah. So I think it was a solid like two or three weeks. I was just bouncing from the boy's house going back and forth yeah. and then, uh, yeah, I finally got a place, you know, thank God, blessed. Yeah, bro, and then, 100. yeah, moved out here and, oh man, the best thing, best, best thing decision I ever did. Oh, GC, bro. Bras, GC is heck. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's so good, man. A lot of eye candy for you, huh? Oh, what, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> What's that? What are we talking about? I'm not sure what you're talking about. <laughs> nah, yeah, the, the gym culture, the gym out, the gyms out here are, are 10 times better, right? Yeah. yeah. So like, yeah, I, used, I used to train at Anytime Fitness and then I also had my Strongman gym, but the Anytime Fitness was just like, you know, just, your average gym goers, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Bro, here, bro, everyone's a freaking fitness model or an athlete Word, or anything yeah, like that, you know Word, what I mean? And when Word. I get in there, I'm looking around going, frick, yeah. now I want to train even harder, <laughs> you know what I mean? And, then, and there's also other, a lot of, I'm surrounded by a lot of other people doing the same thing as me, making videos, mm. you know? I was blessed to meet you guys and yeah. I'm blessed yeah. to meet Chongy and Chongy, so many yeah, other people yeah, that yeah, are yeah, doing the same thing, bro. It's like making videos. Yeah. We like um, showing ourselves in a creative way through videos and mm. yeah. and I love it, bro. Love so that blessed, sick, yeah. bro. That's crack. Wait, Papa, can, we, can we swap, bro? Because his teeth will make my teeth look yellow. <laughs> 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 I'm just looking at his teeth, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shit, bro, where'd bro, you get them from, bro? bro. The when did you get them done? Um, I got them done in Turkey. So I... Uh, I smashed my teeth out playing rugby. Yeah. yeah. Um, when I, or actually the first time I smashed my teeth out, I did a backflip on a scooter. So I used to ride scooters when I was a little kid and I did a backflip and smashed my two front teeth out. The dentist tried to put them back in, but she could only put one back in. So oh, I had no. the gap yeah, teeth the my gap whole there. life, bro. Oh, no way. And then the other one um, got smashed out while I was playing rugby in America. And then that one, uh, they just glued it back in. So, so yeah, so like all the time, like literally- It was a all, dead tooth. It was just a dead me. tooth, yeah, dead oh, tooth. Just so my, looks, huh? But through, throughout time, all my teeth, because I had the missing tooth, all my teeth closed and they closed oh, the gap. Yeah. So I had the one tooth that was glued in and um, the glue would only ever last for like, for maybe three weeks at a time. And then it would, then it my tooth out would just pop out, bro, yeah, at yeah, random yeah. times, bro. <laughs> I've had footy training sessions where the whole footy team is looking through the grass trying to find my teeth, lad. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, yeah, bro, it was bad, bro. Yeah, and it was the worst thing. I hated it, bro. It was uh, my one and only insecurity about myself. And yeah. it was something mm. that I, I just knew that I couldn't change because you needed 30 grand mm. yeah. in order to yeah. change it. And then uh, I, was, I was working security because I used to work security on the weekends. Mm, yeah. And these two hotties came in. And I looked at them and I was like, holy moly, these girls are out of this world. What yeah. the so um, when they walk over, they come in and they're like, oh, can you mind, mind our drinks while we go to the bathroom? I go, I'm not minding your drinks, do it yourself. <laughs> like that. And then they yeah. were like, what? What? I go, nah, nah, just joking, just joking. You get, you get, you get, I'm, I'm, I'm just being an idiot. And she was like, oh, you're cheeky and all this stuff, just having a laugh. But while she was talking, I was like, 
bro, she's got the whitest teeth I've ever seen in my entire mm, life. Yeah. And I just said to her, I said, Wait, what? why do you have the whitest teeth I've ever seen in my entire life? And she goes, I went to Turkey and I got veneers. And I was like, what? What's what that? is that? What the hell is that? <laughs> and she was like, oh, they shave your teeth down like shark teeth and they put caps on to make it look like you have a, a brand new smile. Mm. And oh, bros, right. I've got this glued in freaking tooth in my mouth and I thought, oh my God, <laughs> yeah, that's exactly yeah. what yeah. I want, bro. Yeah. So she told me, um, she's like, yeah, it cost me eight grand. Oh no, no, sorry. Three, three grand for the top uh, eight teeth. That's how much she paid. And I was thinking, bro, I want the whole thing. I want my mm. every single tooth done like that. So uh, she gave me the dentist. She gave me the details. And then in I- In the club. In, yeah, in what? the nightclub. <laughs> sure. In the <laughs> nightclub. She probably don't even remember bro, it, bro. <laughs> A month later, I'll, I booked my flights and I was ready to go. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and I, yeah, and I went to Turkey and got my teeth done, bro. So my teeth were actually that bad that it needed two visits in, to get done. Oh. Because I had the missing tooth, you can't put a veneer on something that's that's not, yeah, that's not there. Not there yeah. So um, I went and got a bridge. So it's like four teeth or tw four or three teeth that are connected together like a bridge. Yeah. And then they go on the, on outside the outside teeth. Yeah, on the outside yeah, ones, okay. correct. So I did that and then I had to go. But while I was there, I filmed heaps of videos because yeah. that's what I do. I yeah, like making yeah, videos, yeah. you know right. what I mean? So uh, they had quoted me eight grand or eight and a half grand in order oh. to get all of my teeth done. So I paid the eight and a half grand, went over, um, did all that. Then when I went back, I did my first video about getting the teeth the done teeth and done, it got, yeah. I think it was four and a half million. Yeah. Four and a half million views, yeah, four and a half million views. Didn't I did another drive? video. When you what is like one of the videos people were mocking you? Oh, you heaps, first... heaps of videos, bro. Yeah. yeah, heaps of videos I've done about my teeth and people are just like, that's the worst thing you could do. That's the worst, yeah, that's yeah, horrible. Yeah, How yeah, can yeah. you do that? Experts, eh? Yeah, well, <laughs> bro, the, the reason is, right, is because um, on, on TikTok, uh, like people who have perfect teeth, they'll go get veneers just to make it even more perfect. Like they'll change the shape and oh, different really? stuff like that. And then dentists are really against that. So dentists will make videos stitching those videos and goes, you're an idiot, that's horrible. Mm, How can you do that to yeah, your teeth yeah, and all yeah. that? But I had absolutely mangled yeah, teeth yeah, already. Yeah, yeah. So I, like that was the only option I had mm. and the only affordable option as well. Yeah. So yeah. that's why, yeah, I guess veneers have this real bad stigma around them. But to be honest, for me, it was the best decision I yeah, could have ever bro, made in my yeah, entire fact. life. But yeah, yeah, because my videos did so well, uh, I was like, oh, I gotta come back and do my second appointment. And they were like, yeah, don't worry. We're gonna refund you the money and we're gonna uh, give you your 8,500 mm. back. Yeah, and yeah. we're gonna um, pay for your flights and your accommodation, oh, everything whoa. that when you come the second time. And then, Cause you put them on. Yeah, yeah. Bro, because I did so many videos, views, not only yeah. that, Bro, so many people were messaging me like, where'd you get your teeth done? And I was, I was just sending them. I was like, yeah, bro, this is where I got my teeth done. Yeah, 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 yeah. And bro, they said to me like that I'd, so I'd gotten custom. within the first like, uh, or the first month, cause I, uh, it took three months to gap before I had to go back for mm. the second time. Mm. And they were like, oh, the first month, uh, we'd already had like 10 or 15 clients that came from Australia. For you. Yeah. And they said, yeah, I came because of that jaded guy. I came because of that jaded oh, guy. Yeah. And I was like, what? Yeah, like, that's yeah. shit. Yeah. I get people with, sometimes that like, will come up to me in the street and they'll be like, I got my teeth done because of you. Yeah. <laughs> and I see the videos and I'm like, oh, yeah. Like, how good is that? Yeah. That's fucking crazy. Holy yeah. Shit. And um, the the second time that I went, I got the real treatment, bro. Mm. Yeah. I, went, I was yeah. in this flash ass yeah. hotel. Was car that, they, they put you in a, li in a limo, didn't yeah. they? Yeah. Oh, it's not like a limo. It's like a, a, a like a famous, oh, not famous, uh, a flash, like a, a luxury car luxury transfer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they'll pick you up. And I, remember, it's, it's real. I remember watching your video on TikTok. Yeah. He's coming kind of full on in the back seat, like living like a king. I was like, like, holy shit. Yeah, bro, it's cool as. Just it's for his so teeth. Cool. I was like, yeah, <laughs> exactly, I man. I want to do my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> man, yeah. Uh, the, um, to, to get your teeth fixed here in Australia is absolutely yeah, ridiculous. So much yeah, so Oh my gosh, What did you say, bro. 30K? 30K, well, to get Damn. my whole, all the teeth fixed and that's including like braces. So what they wanted to do was I had to pay thousand dollars to get my braces done. And I've also had braces twice before oh, this really? time as well. Yeah, yeah so I'd already fuck. paid around $12,000 on braces, didn't work for me. And then in order to get it done from scratch, had to get braces, then I had to get implants. Mm. Well, that's what they wanted to do for the missing teeth. Mm. So each implant was like $1,500. And then I had to get the whitening and then I had to get this. That's but rubbish, bro. Yeah, they quoted me around 30 grand in order to fix all of my teeth. And um, got yeah. it for free. Well, then, yeah, <laughs> and I had to get them for free. I was blessed and went that's over rough, there and bro. got to experience bro. Thing. Turkey. And it, yeah. And then when Jeez. I got my eight and a half grand, they, they sent it back to my bank. I was like, oh yeah, no, nah, that's it. I'm going to make this a full holiday. Like. Yeah, so yeah. then I went to Jordan and I did the Petra. I went to Egypt and yeah. I saw the pyramids of Giza. Yeah. I then went to Thailand and I trained Muay Thai for like yeah, three weeks. Right. Yeah, and yeah. Um, I went to Singapore as well. 
And yeah, I just kind of blew all that money on on traveling for, that's I think it was three months, three months of traveling I did. Why not, bro? Yeah, that's it, eh? Bro, what happened in Egypt? Oh. Bro, you see that video of this guy like him in the office or face to face, bro? Mom, I thought you were gonna get happened, locked up, bro. Like, eh? I was like, yeah. this guy in Egypt, bro. Bro, I <laughs> I tried to stay positive in Egypt, bro. Yeah. Like I really did. I really tried to hey. like when I go to different countries, bro. I, I like to look at how they do business mm. and then I adapt to that and I, mm. I do things how they do things. Do, you know what I mean? Yeah, because yeah. this is their country. I'm a bro. guest yeah. mm. and I gotta respect how they do certain word, things here. Word. And in Egypt, where I spent most of my time, which was right next to the pyramids in Cairo. Cairo yeah. Bro, the people in Egypt are just so unpleasant, bro. Oh, They're really? just the rudest. Like, like, well, this is my experience. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, I was, yeah, I was yeah. there for, I did eight days in Egypt, but everyone that I spoke to, bro, just didn't want a bar of me. They were just yeah. rude as, and they were just all, like, they, they, it's full of scammers. Like, uh, everyone's trying to scam you. Mm. Everyone's just being rude as. And I just did not enjoy it, bro. Even where I was, like the food, I got food poisoning straight away since I got oh, there. Fucking KFC that you were eating, there. Oh, like, bro. Was it the KFC though? So you, the reason you, I was eating KFC is because I didn't trust anything else, bro. Yeah, yeah, bro, yeah. You, you'd walk past like um, certain restaurants, bro, they've got a dead cow out the front and they're just slicing yeah. it up, bro. Oh, and, and you're bro. driving, you're like, bro, this is out the front. We're, and we're in the desert, lad. There's sand and dirt yeah, yeah, and everything just flying yeah. everywhere. And I'm just looking at it again. Okay, that's why I got food poisoning, yeah. lad. Because yeah. they're, they're yeah. cutting Egypt the meat day. out in the front of the store, bro. Yeah, and, bro. You know what I mean? Like if that's how they do business, that's how they do business. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And maybe my guts aren't strong enough to handle yeah, that. Yeah. Or whatever. So then I just started eating KFC and that because I was like, bro, it's too risky. Like, mm, bro, I don't want to go through that again. You know, it was the worst thing ever. Kentucky Fried Camel. Bro, even... um. Uh, like I'd be taking photos at the front of the pyramids and they'd just have these random like police come up to you and go, <laughs> show me your phone, show me everything on there. And I was like, what, yeah. why? And they were like, if you don't do it, we can go back to the police station and I can go through your phone there. And I was just like, bro, and I have to pull out my phone. They were like, delete that, delete that, delete that, delete really? that. Pyramid. Yeah, bro. Hey, I'm at the pyramids taking photos, bro. All the different like um, famous landmarks and, and touristy kind of stuff mm. they do there. You if they don't like photos. what you're doing in terms of photos or videos or anything like that, they tell you bro, they'll just tell you to delete it, bro. And, and even- Do they have the power to that? Bro, I'm, I'm not gonna yeah, question yeah, it. Yeah, you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, 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 whatever yeah, they truth. told me, I'm just gonna do it, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't wanna get on the bad side of no one, bro. Mm. And then um, even the hotels, bro. So you know how you go through customs at the airport? Mm. Yeah. Bro, you have to go through like a customs to get That's inside in your, the... your hotel. Oh shit. Yeah, bro. So you got to put your bag through these x-rays and they go through everything. If they see anything that they don't like, so what they didn't like about my stuff was my camera and tripods and also my microphones. Yeah. They didn't yeah. like that stuff, bro. So really? they, they, they pull it out and they hold it and they grab, they'll grab your tripod and they'll hold it and be like, what is this? Mm. And I'm like, bro, this is a tripod. It holds my phone. <laughs> 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 That's how they look at it. Man. They're yeah. just like, oh, what the hell is this? And, um, yeah, bro, they just see all of it as real suspicious activity yeah, and yeah. they treat you like a crim. As soon as they see that you got any oh, kind of bro. filming or audio equipment and it just, bro, just was not pleasant the whole time, bro. Yeah. Mm. And then, but I stayed I stayed positive yeah, the whole time, yeah. bro. I was like, nah, that's all right. You know, it, this is what they do. It's their, their country. So yeah. they do business. It's yeah, all right, yeah. you know. Then as I, I, and I've flown three times within Egypt to different cities so that yeah, I can experience yeah. different yeah, cities, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? They, they pull out my drone every time. And I was like, oh, I know drones are illegal to fly here. Yeah. And I, I'm aware of that. But drones cannot be illegal to bring into the country yeah. if they let me bring it in. Mm. And I've traveled three times within it and they didn't say it. Issue, it was all sweet. Yeah. But as soon as I went to leave the country, drones are illegal. You can't even have them in this country. Oh, word. And oh, I was like, come wow. on, bro. I said, bros, I've been here for eight days. I've been traveling in and out. I've been doing different stuff. You haven't said nothing about my drone. And now you want to take my drone. I was like, all right, you know what? Like, whatever, take my drone. It's it's all good. I just want I just want like all the stuff in the drone bag or my SD cards and because mm. I had multiple different batteries, yeah, different yeah, stuff yeah. like that. And they just they didn't even no. They said no. Nah. Everything you had to give it all. Yeah, bro. And then <gasps> what made the whole experience even worse is that so sort of like <clears throat> say say you get in trouble or something happens, right? They'll be like, look, we need to go over here. We need to talk and whatever over here. So they don't say nothing to you. They didn't explain no, they just their goes, reasoning. Come, come, come. Bro, the guy who who pulled me up, so he's looking at me and he's writing all these papers and he's everything like that. And he's smoking a cig <laughs> in the airport. Like, yeah, in bro. the airport, smoking a cig. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, you know, is there anything I can do to help? Or is it, you know, is something wrong? And he was like, <laughs> yeah, 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 he just right. gives me that cocky laugh. So they, and they're all speaking Arabic and they're just absolute... Wrong yeah, to me, yeah, like, yeah, and yeah. I, I just didn't know what I'd done wrong or yeah. whatever. Mm. And then by the time they'd brought me back, 
they were like, go catch your flight. And I said, bro, what happened? Where's my drone? What's, what's, what's the process? How do I get mm. it back? What, yeah. what about this? What about that? Catch your flight or you go to jail. Bro. I was like, bro, I, like, I want to go talk to the guy because there was one guy who spoke to me in English. So I went back to that guy. And while I was speaking to him, I was like, what, what's, what's going on? What's happening? Can I please mm. get it back? If I can't get it back, can I get my SDs? Can I get the other stuff out of the bag? If you don't catch your flight, you go to jail. <laughs> I was just like, bro, like, yeah, please, yeah, bro. Like, why are you doing fuck? this to yeah. me, lad? Like, yeah. please, please. And then the fact that they were just being rude and real, like, disrespectful to mm. me, that was always getting me going, bro. And yeah, I was getting yeah. angry and angry. So I'm following him. And then he's like, I'm not talking to you anymore. I'm leaving. And he just walked away from me. So then I'm following him and I'm like, Buzz, just come talk. I just want to talk. I just yeah, want to talk. Yeah, yeah. And then as he's walking, there's like uh, this like kind of like, uh, what are they, like airport uh, police. Oh, and yeah. he's sitting down and he goes to the police. He goes, if he walk past you, arrest him. <laughs> right? But the only thing was funny. So he's only a little guy. He was only a little <laughs> guy. Right? He jumps up and then I saw him. I just thought those boink. And I pushed him, Word. shoved him off, bro. Because I was trying to walk and he was yeah, trying yeah, to grab yeah, me. Yeah, 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 I said, yeah. boom. And then so like, that was it. He's on the radio. Yeah. Everything, everything, everything like that. All these federal police, all this oh, stuff came shit. up and they all grabbing on me. And I said, bro, I just want to talk. I just want to talk, just want to talk. Yeah, yeah. And then he came up to me real close in my face, Sully. Uh, and he comes out and he goes, catch your plane now or you go to jail. <laughs> and I was just like, bro, I started swearing and I lost it. Because at this stage, I was just getting angry. And when yeah, they're grabbing yeah. you, it makes you even more yeah, angry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, it makes it just, hard to keep positive. Eh? Bro, it was just the worst experience I'd ever had in that country. Oh, and then right. when I flew out of Egypt, I said to myself, I will never ever come back to Egypt. It was the worst country. You could not pay me to go to back to that back. country oh, ever wow. again. Like, so yeah, don't go to Egypt. <laughs> it's the worst Egypt. place ever. <laughs> Wait, going back on um, the teeth, like the, the, the teeth thing. How did you handle that hate, bro? Because bro, there was like a video, millions of views. <laughs> it was just hate. Yeah. Always, bro. Yeah, like, yeah, what yeah. the fuck? Um, so I, I knew when I got my teeth done, I got them too white. I I knew after I got them I was like, damn. What is it shades? Yeah, so um they they pull out they they pull out um like the teeth like um like different samples mm -hmm. and then you can compare them and put them next to each other and stuff okay. like that. So the widest that you can possibly get is B B O one, right? And a lot of people tend to get that get one. That one yeah. So in my head I was like, I don't want B L one because I don't like those. So I'll get B L two. Not only that, one of my boys he had B L two, and I thought, bros, his teeth look awesome. Mm. So I just got one down from white. But now in my head, I'm like, so BL1, the widest, I got BL2, then there's BL3, BL4, and then they have B1. And that's the widest that any human can naturally get. So I've got oh. three shades above the, the, the natural, widest that yeah. anyone can yeah. naturally possibly get. Wide, yeah, I know, I got it too wide. But they only stay on for 10 to 15 years and then you gotta get new ones. Oh, so right. in yeah, ten, yeah. you know, ten years or whatever, yeah. then I'll just get a darker shade. Some yellows, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 <Brown eggs. laughs> Special effects. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Reason, reason why I said that is because we put up a story today. I don't know if you've seen it. Yeah. I said, oh, uh, this segment oh, of uh, we, we're gonna name. Can you handle the heat? Can you handle? So we had the heat? we we um, put up a story saying, <laughs> comment some shit about the Bender Brothers, and Jaden's gonna read it out. So you got, I'll give you a phone. Just read out some bad shit about us. What? And we're it's like just, roast me. Type just of roast me. Yeah, yeah. 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 Just, wanna, just give it a crack, eh? Yeah, right, so. <laughs> just give it a crack, bro. Yeah. Right. Are, we, are we naming the user? Nah, don't, don't name him because I told him. Yeah. I said don't name But we got the names, all right? You motherfuckers. Know. <laughs> yeah, just because it's not saying. Nah, this is a direct message, man. That's what right when you're ready. It says... When JR and Swanee stand next to each other, they look like the number 10. Who's JR? Oh, who's JR? I think they meant J5. Oh, <laughs> oh Wow. <laughs> so you don't even that big, bro. Bro, fuck you. Your big guys. ass. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, that's, that's a dumb one. No, who, who wrote that? I'm getting angry. <laughs> uh, okay, it says uh, J5, stop acting like you're Samoan. You're fucking moldy. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> you got nah. anything to say, Jay? Yeah, you got a comment. Him? Hey, don't worry, he's someone in mind. That's that all one, that matters, baby. baby. What are you? One, baby. A moldy cookie American, but I was raised in someone else. Why so. would this person say that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm burning for him, bro. Um, Jay looks like he low key has gay thoughts about the rest of the boys in the group. <laughs> 
Why would they think that? <laughs> oh, Jay needs to start with the dick riding. Bro, they, they're just coming for Jay. Bro, they're coming for Jay, bro. They're just coming for Jay, bro. Uh, no hate, but Jay always looking like he just woke up. What the hell, bro? bro? Jay, what the Jay's hell, gonna bro? go through these mes- these messages bro, <laughs> and message uh, every single one of these. Go, go. Someone looks like Manny from Ice Age. Oh, 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 Dandelion. <laughs> I don't, you don't say dandelion. Uh, yeah, Manny. Is it? Is Manny the sloth? No. That's it. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Oh, that's it. <laughs> oh, Manny's the, Manny's the Manny's elephant. Manny's the elephant. Oh, okay. Oh, get it. He's talking about my nose. Oh. 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 Fucking cunt. You went to my head, you. Uh, Tosunga looks like he dipped his chin in Swanee's asshole <laughs> with that bum fluff on his chin. Nah. Wow. 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 I should have to lock this, all that, right? That looks it's nice. real hair, bro. So I like real that, hair, that bro. looks good, man. I don't know what this guy's talking about. <laughs> You're a fat version of Lissy. <laughs> Who's he talking about? I don't, it just says you. Who is it just says you, man. You it, did the video. Yeah. <laughs> it must be. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> Oh. Jalen looks like he uh, looks like Tory Lanez if he had Down syndrome. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow, wow, bro, man. Oh. Like free Tory, man. No, oh, free Tory, bro. That's... Free Tory, Tory Downs. Far <laughs> out. Um, ran straight through Jalen when he was playing for St. Thomas. Cap. Ooh. I don't know. I don't know who, who it was. Swanee looks like Javier 676. <laughs> And Lissy had a child. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good looking I'll ta- child, I'll take bro. That. <laughs> what? Uh, Sanga, why is it you can stay up for a bender, but you can't stay up to change your daughter's nappies? Oh, that's a oh. personal oh. one. That's a personal oh. one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're not supposed to read the names, bro. That's my fucking lady, bro. That's my, that's my miss. Holy, 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 holy. <laughs> we, don't, I don't, we don't really take hate comments on board, bro. Do you? Bro, I get heaps. Hey, I feel like um, anyone who makes videos yeah, or does yeah, anything like that and puts himself. Tough no, I'm saying, I'm saying, do you take it? Do you take it? Do you take like, do you sit down and read them? Uh, sometimes, yeah, yeah. Uh, sometimes I do, mm. yeah. Do but um, doesn't affect me at uh, all. You know uh, what I mean? Yeah. Bro, um, I I always think about hate. Like, um, bro, you could be the best athlete in the world, bro. You could be honestly like number one, bro. Yeah. You could be um playing in the NRL, yeah, right. Mm. And you could you could have trained your whole life, dedicated your whole life to be the best in that sport, mm. right? And then you do one thing, maybe Fine. slightly wrong, yeah. and everyone's like, "What a sick yeah, guy!" Yeah, yeah, when right, he's drinking yeah. a beer at the pub, doing absolutely nothing yeah, in his yeah, life. Yeah, like, yeah, right. yeah, and bro. so, no matter what, bro, you're gonna cop hate. Hundred doesn't matter. You can be the best at anything. Hundred percent, bro. bro yeah. I went to this. I went to this um this club in Sydney one time, and the guy, this guy, this guy came up to me. and goes, "Bro, the Bender brother." Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's up, bro? And um. He went and sat back down and his mate came up. He goes, bro, this guy's fangirling of you, blah, 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 talking all this shit. And I, I, look, I, I looked at him, bro, and he was like, full, like, sitting down like this. I went over, I was like, you are right, bro? Well, what's up? And he goes, bro, I want to make videos. I want to make videos and, and, and do all this shit about Jim. I was like, bro, why don't you, well, who's stopping you? And he goes, bro, my brothers, my, my mates, they, bro, they always mock you. And I'm like, bro. This right here, bro, is the only barrier that stops you, bro. Like, mm. Everyone else, bro, once you become like a ripped cunt, bro, everyone else in here will be cheering you. The only one that'll be bringing you down is this cunt right here, bro. And I was saying it in front of him. I was yeah. like, bro, like, if he was to make money off this shit, bro, like, you'll be on his cock right now. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. And he sat there and he, and he looked and he's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fuck, he messaged me two weeks ago and he goes, like, I started my gym program. Oh, <laughs> and I'm like, that's bro, hectic. that's fucking hectic, How bro. How good is that? Like, Cunt, it's like your mates and, and your brothers that are like, sometimes, like not not all the time, but that are pulling you down, bro. Like, 
Yeah. Oh, but yeah. I, I always think of it just banter between the boys. Yeah. But yeah. you just got to be strong enough to just yeah. do yeah. whatever yeah. you're passionate yeah. about. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? No, if you like making videos, uh, go like go make videos, bro. Yeah. If you like ballerina dancing, bro, well, go be the best ballerina dancer. If you really like it, though. Yeah, who cares, bro? If you really like it, you wouldn't really let that affect you. Yeah. I used to always like come up with video ideas. like Because I used to work seven days a week and I'd sit in the um, in the work you and I'd always think and have ideas about videos. Mm. And uh, one of my close boys who I used to work with, I had this idea for a video and uh, I said to him, I go, bro, everyone's doing that um, shake your booty prank. I go, bro, imagine we did a video where the person at the drive-thru just strangled you because he's sick <laughs> of that, that prank, you know what I mean? And I go, bro, we'll do it. And I go, but you strangle me. And he turned to me and he goes, Sorry, that's dry. Grow up. <laughs> oh, 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 I really thought that was a good idea. I really thought that was a good idea. But you know what I mean? Like he's just, just bouncing between yeah, the boys yeah, having yeah. a laugh, whatever, right? Yeah. I went to one of my other boys and I told him the same thing. And he goes, Sorry, that's crack. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right? the video you did, yeah? Bras. And then Bras. we filmed that yeah. video, lad. I, I uploaded it and it did a million overnight. That that one video. And then you know what's funny? Is that my mate who who's, yeah, was talking smack, it. you know, talking shit about my video. So like sharing my video on his story <laughs> and all this stuff. Yeah. Everyone's tagging him on it. He goes, yeah, this is my bro. Yeah, this is my bro. Yeah. And I was thinking, so like, you said to grow up you know, on my video and now you're sharing it. Oh, man, it's crack on me. But yeah, I mean, if you're That's passionate That's the way it is with boys though. Yeah, you know, yeah, the bro. close boys and that. Bro, uh, there's I always like, banter like that. Yeah, it's always just banter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It, if you- Say anything, do anything, your boy's gonna mock you. Yeah, it's just how it is, bro. You know? But but people some people are built like that, bro. Like they, mm. they hear one thing from their mates and they'll be like, Yeah, you're right. Like, you know what I mean? Like you don't look like the person to be like, Yeah, you'll get dwell in it. But some people are, you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. Like, fuck. Yeah. I don't know. I think especially like what we're doing, the hate comments, fuck, I just laugh at them, eh? Cause none of them are crack up, but you, if you take too much mind to it, like mm. right, that's when it starts affecting what we're doing, you know. Yeah, but you sort of just—it sort of just comes with it, eh? You sort of have to take the good with the bad, don't you reckon? Yeah. Like right. for for all of the love you get, there's gonna be one yeah. person. You know what I mean? And, and sometimes it's not even what you're saying; they're just having a shit day, and you're just getting the grunt of it. Yeah. Bro. Oh man, you know Some, what I mean? Sometimes I feel sorry for people who who actually have like, time have to time. sit there. Yeah. Imagine yeah. just sitting down on a computer and like anyone <laughs> yeah. does anything, you're just like, that's shit. Oh, yeah. you're not that good. Yeah. Oh, no, no. Yeah. Fuck, lad. I, I'm Surely worried about day. myself. Yeah, I'm yeah, trying to better myself. Yeah. I'm trying to do whatever I'm trying yeah. to do, things mm. that I'm passionate about. And you're talking about what I'm doing. Mm. Like, fuck, lad. Yeah, I feel sorry bro. for you, yeah. lad. I, I hope that you find something more constructive mm. during your time. <laughs> yeah. you know? yeah. Yeah, I feel sorry for you, lad. <laughs> That's tough. <laughs> oh, that is, that is, bro. bro. Especially uh, behind a fake account, bro. Bro, the fake accounts the are the fake best. fake accounts are like, they, holy they shit, They give the bro. best comments, though. Yeah, <laughs> bro. Some of them are creative. Like, yeah. Down syndrome, Tory Lanez. Yeah, down syndrome, Tory Lanez, bro. bro. Still, you, you, like, uh, you know when you get a good feeling, like, like you've- um. You've made a video, you've edited yeah. it, you've done all that stuff, and then you post it and everybody froths it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that's the same feeling that haters get when they write something stupid on your thing and, and they, they get likes. And then they get I think that's the same feeling yeah. that they get. And they're like, Ooh. I'm the man. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote an and everyone loves it. You know what I mean? Like everyone thinks I'm funny. But yeah, I mean, I guess it's the same feeling. Yeah. The, the, let them have their little moment, I guess. Yeah, hey, let, let them have. Bro, what about that video that you did when you was it China you, you traveled to? Yeah, yeah. And the fucking recep 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 <laughs> oh, reception. Oh, lad, the receptionist. The receptionist, bro. Wait, get him, get him, get him. Like, bro, I, I died, bro. <laughs> play it, play it. Play it. Yeah, yeah that, what that, happened? That video done six million overnight. You went um, with the boys, eh? Yeah. So um, I I had just come back from overseas. So every time I, I was always constantly flying in and out of America. Um, whenever I had a break or whenever I had time, mm. I'd come back. But when I came back, I'd also work. So I just jumped straight back into security and my traffic control gig. And um, I, I had done, you know, Uruguay, Brazil, and mm. so many different countries. I think I'd done eight countries in that year alone. Man. And um, all my boys at work were like, Sale, bro, we want to travel like you one day. Like we want to yeah. travel, bro. I said, let's fucking book a trip right now then. Yeah. And they were like, <laughs> what? They were like, what? No, what? What do you mean? Oh, what do really? Mean? I said, Sully, oh, where no. do you want to go? I said, I'll research it right now. Yeah. I'll do flights accommodation and I'll give you a price, but we've got to book it right now. And they were like, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, no, no. All of a sudden, you know, fine assing around. And then uh, I was like, Sully, nah. and then like me and my mate who, who I work with, uh, I was like, oh, um, 
So like, where would you want to go? And then he goes, bro, you know what would be crazy? Is if we did the Great Wall of China. Mm. And I was like, oh, fuck, that's a mad. So I don't know anyone that's gone to the Great Wall of yeah, China. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I looked up flights and throughout that time, it was towards the end of the year. So, uh, you know, in December, it's not very popular to go to China yeah, during yeah. that time because it's quite cold. And everyone thinks that, you know, going during the cold is just not an ideal time to go. Yeah. Mm. Bro, return flight, $650. Oh, I got to bro. Beijing, yeah. China, bro. So I found those flights and I was like, no way. Bro, this, this is us right here. Yeah. I looked at accommodation because tourism is not popular at the time. T accommodation is dirt cheap, bro. Mm. Five, da a five star hotel and I got it dirt cheap, bro. I'm pretty sure. So flights and accommodation for two weeks that over there, I think it was, bro, I think it was like 1500. 1500 wow. flights and accommodation for two weeks. Oh, six, was it six well, weeks? No, individual. So we oh, had to pay yeah, 1,500 yeah, yeah. each. Yeah, each. So I just told the boys and I said, bro, I got two weeks for us, flights and accommodation, 1,500. If you're keen, I'll book it right now. And then my mate who I was in, uh, my mate Manu, mm. who, who one of my closest yeah, boys, yeah, yeah, yeah. he was like, yeah, done. Bang, we both booked it. And then, we, so we had two boys in the in the work truck behind us and we just <laughs> we just jumped out of the truck and we go over to them and go, so like, we just booked flight and accommodation, 1,500 to go to China. We're going in like a month's time. Yeah. And then they were like, yeah, done, done. Yeah. Get us on, get us on. Yeah, so then two yeah. of the other boys, uh, Junior and Charles jumped on. And then uh, we called one of the other boys that likes to travel as well. And we said, Sully, king to come. And then he booked his flight that night as well. Oh. So that was it, bro. Oh, we man, just locked it loaded. We just, you know, in the moment, just Made sent it, it, got it done. Yeah. And then that was it, bro. We ended up going to China. <sighs> Good which trip. Which was an amazing trip, yeah. bro. Especially yeah. traveling with like my boys with who boys, I usually eh? work with every day. And then we got to experience this whole new country, you know, their culture, their food, everything mm. like that was absolutely amazing. And I'd done it with my boys, which was awesome. That's tough, bro. Now we went to Shanghai, right? And uh, in Shanghai, they call it the city that never sleeps. Mm. Funny enough, because <laughs> <laughs> we were checking out of our hotel at maybe like, bro, it's probably like three or four o'clock in the morning because we had to catch our bullet train back to Beijing. Mm. So when we come out to go check out, bro, the receptionist is sleeping. Like, <laughs> right. Roll the clip, right yeah, here. Yeah, bro. <laughs> bro, and, um, we were just kind of like, bro, um, what do we do? Yeah. You know, she sleeps, she's cocked down, she's got the neck pillow, blanket, <laughs> everything. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah. and well. you know what's funny is that video of her getting woken up, everyone thinks it's me that woke her up. I, I, it wasn't actually me, it was actually my mate Manu. Yeah. Oh. So, yeah, so he's- <laughs> up, 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 up. <laughs> <laughs> He starts recording and turns over and he starts banging the table and he goes, get up right now, get up right now, get up right now. <laughs> and bro, when she woke up now, this is, a, this, is a, this is what makes it even funnier, right? Is that her reaction when she woke up and saw us because um, in China, this was uh, like pre-COVID, so mm. COVID wasn't a thing, mm. but everyone in Beijing and China and Shanghai and everything like that, they wear face masks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we got the, we were like, you know, whatever they do, that's what we're gonna do. Yeah, so we had yeah. the face mask and everything like that. <laughs> Not only that, in China are predominantly smaller people, yeah, right? Yeah, so yeah, we're, yeah. you know, all six Massive. foot plus, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Islander, <laughs> Four, you know, five Islander boys standing right at a thing, masked up, hats, hoodies, <laughs> everything like that. <laughs> bro, looking like a full like drill video yeah, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. And then she woke up and saw that her first time ever seeing Islanders because there's no other, mm. if, yeah. there's not any other ethnicities yeah. in China, and bro, she was just shocked. They she got, yeah. she got scared she's twice, bro. Scared, well, yeah, bro. she screamed hard out, right? And then he stopped the video, and then he goes, "Oh, sorry, 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 sorry." <laughs> and like, she was just like, "Don't do that." We're like, sorry about that. We just want to check out. We just want to check out. Sorry about that. And then she's like, starts checking us out, but she was like, you know, the moody ones. Yeah, you just yeah, wake yeah, up, yeah, and she was a bit annoyed, but she was alright. After we just had a little laugh, and just went around. And just, yeah. bro, bro, I was watching that video. I was like, what a girl. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> that one, that one does six million overnight, and then it, it's. I think now it's on twenty million. Bro, that <laughs> one done like numbers, but also like um, a lot of people. It started off with the like, overnight, uh, the first night started off with comments like, "This is hilarious!" Like, "Oh, that's so yeah. funny! Yeah. Look and at then this!" You yeah. the carrier, then the carrier, it gradually yeah. got onto death threats and oh, like bro, people DMing me, "You dog! How dare you yeah. wake that woman up and all that stuff!" Bro. And then, and then, bro, yeah. then it hit American TikTok and America's. I don't know, bro. They were talking about all this different stuff in the comments and having arguments and everything like that. <laughs> what the I was just like, holy moly, bro. This this kind of went massive. Eh? I don't yeah, even know, bro. Yeah, I kind know. of had a laugh. But 20 million bro. people, bro. How, yeah, many, how, how many places have you visited? Um, oh, I, don't have, I don't have a number, like eh? The whole yeah. world I, now, yeah, bro. Yeah, no, you've been so many places. I, um, yeah. I actually wrote down a list not longer because I, I um, I'm going to start speaking about 
uh, the countries that I've been to mm-hmm. uh, nice. on my podcast yeah, once yeah, I spark yeah, up nice. mine. Yeah. So I've got a little list here. So I've been to China, Fiji, Samoa, New Zealand, Egypt, Jordan, Turkey, Vietnam, Singapore, Thailand, New Caledonia, USA, and then I lived there for three years and I yeah, traveled yeah, all yeah, within yeah. America. Uh, Chile, Argentina, Brazil, Canada, and Uruguay. Bro. Yeah. 17. All right. 17 countries, bro. Yeah. All right, dude. I've got a question. So you're, you're obviously an expert traveler. What's the top three essentials that you have to have when you're traveling? When I, when I travel, it's yeah. definitely portable charger. Okay. Uh, the bros, if you don't have your phone, lad, oh, bros, worst thing ever. Yeah. Yeah. So you yeah. definitely need a portable charger. I always do the bum bag. So that mm. way I've got the portable charger in the bum bag. The and bum then bag. because, you know, if you can go to certain countries, bro, if you've got a backpack, <laughs> out the back and they'll, you know, mm. racks whatever they want. You oh, know? Really? So like, yeah, 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 so I always do the bum bag out the front mm. or somewhere where you can, you can see it. Mm. Cause bro, they got some tricks in that in, in different countries, bro. Mm. They'll try and get you however they possibly can. Um, I heard Brazil's bad for that. Yeah, like bro, yeah. Well, uh, in the in the popular tourist area, <laughs> they got they got kids and everything that are yeah, that yeah. are like kids. pickpocketing and Bump everything. Bro. Yeah, yeah, bro. Uh, they're, they're 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 onto it, bro. But um, bro. I always do the portable charger. Portable I always charger. do the, like a bum bag. Have to do bum bag, and then that way you keep all your all your stuff. And when you when you're traveling, mm. uh, passport, having your passport, quick access, and different mm. stuff like that. Um, Damn. Yeah, but I don't know, bro. Uh, what are uh, neck pillows and that? Neck pillows are pretty important. <laughs> I always need that while I travel, but. Yeah, I love traveling. Bro, bro, if, they, yeah, if they were to pickpocket me, bro, they ain't getting shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm broke as fuck. The pickpocket would be like, uh, you put it back. Put it back. <laughs> you <laughs> and you drop the <laughs> 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 yeah, Bro, be, uh, be, be in all those places, have you ever had to like proper stand up for yourself? Have you ever got into a situation where it got a bit too hairy? Uh, Surely. Well, Surely. so uh, the the only people that I ever have disagreements with are uh, usually like um, like taxi drivers. Oh, really? Whereas I've I've probably <laughs> almost punched on with like a hundred taxi drivers. <laughs> I reckon, like while I travel on the regular, because yeah. they always got some bullshit prices, bro. Yeah. Yeah. So like, like I do trips and stuff like that on the regular. Like uh, in in uh, e- uh sorry uh, Turkey. Mm. We had to catch uh, a taxi to the airport and back. Like I think, I think maybe like six times, right? So every single one of those times, the price changed and it went up and down or whatever. Yeah, yeah, but it was yeah. around, you know, maybe like five hundred Turkish Turkish um, I can't even remember the currency yeah, now, but yeah. it was like Turkish dollars or whatever it was. But we had this one guy, and uh, uh, we got we're on our way there, and he's like, I know a, uh, it's a little. He goes, I know another route. Skip traffic. Trust me. <laughs> yeah. I said, bros, I go, look, bro, I, I know what the price is. I go, just, just go the normal way. And he goes, no, 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 no. I know a better way. I know a better way. Yeah, yeah, so he yeah. ends up taking this massive detour, bros. Oh. Long hours, everything like that. We pull up. And like I said, usually it's it's 500, right? Mm. And he comes out and he's like, 1,500. And I go, come on, bros. <laughs> like, yeah. I go, bros, you, you're stitching me up here. I go, I know it's, it's 500. I said, look, I'll give you a thousand. Since you, you want to be a gronk about it, whatever, mm. I said, just take a thousand and that's it. And then, buzz, he just lost it. No, no, I oh, called the police. Yeah. I called the police. I called the police. <laughs> and then, he, bro, but he was grabbing on me. Uh-huh. So I grabbed my bag. <laughs> <laughs> I grabbed my bag and I just done the full stiff arm to his throat, lad. Yeah. Oh, boom. Away. yeah, and he was <laughs> that, that, that noise there. And then, um, so he backed up. But I was with my mate Chris. And my, my mate Chris is a, he's a, like a, or well, his ex uh, professional scooter rider. Yeah. And he's only a skinny build, you know, small yeah, build. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, the taxi driver grabs his bag and he's like, I'm calling the police. And Chris is like, Dude! <laughs> <laughs> he's like trying to put his car, but he's not strong enough. And he's like, he's like, like struggling and he's Stress like freaking out. Because uh, Chris never really gets into like- um, Confrontation. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, confrontational yeah, high yeah. stakes situations. Yeah, so he yeah. was just like, like uh, and was, <laughs> bro, I was, once I j- like palmed him in the throat, I just started walking away and I already had my bags and I was walking away and I looked back and he's just like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, bro. Bro. Yeah, bro. And then yeah, bro. Bro, I walked back over and I threw the guy again. I said, bro, fucking relax, cunt. I just gave you a thousand. Piss off, like yeah, fuck yeah, off. Yeah. So he jumps back in the thing and he drives off and we, we're walking away and like, as soon as we get in the airport, I'm like, fuck, like, should we get some Burger King? Fuck, for like Burger King or something, yeah, get a feed or something. And he was like, bro, <laughs> how are you okay? okay? <laughs> 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 Man, who cares? It's the past. <laughs> bro, I reckon he saw the next couple of hours, he was still a bit, just, you know, a bit, yeah, just a bit freaked out from that little situation. Wow. But all the, 
most times it's like, um, yeah, I usually just, <laughs> I'll jump up and I'll just say, fuck, you want to have a go then? Fuck me. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. like, to, the, to the taxi driver at the straight away, it's okay, I paid, yeah. I paid. Yeah. But other than that, I haven't really had That's too crazy, much bad bro. dramas. Oh, really? That's crazy. Oh, we had a couple in China as well, actually. Oh, <laughs> yeah, really? China, oh, the ones are, they're, they're funny, bro. The, uh, Oh, I'll just tell it real quick. Sorry, yeah, sorry. Yeah. No, no, bro. No, it's bro. your podcast. Bro. <laughs> so, uh, me and Manu, one of my one of my best mates, uh, the same thing, bro. We're, we're like, how much to get to this place? And they're like, oh, this this price, this price, this price. And we're like, all right, uh, we'll do two hundred. You know, two hundred, whatever. Mm. So, <laughs> and he goes, just come, just come. We're like, is it two hundred? Can you can you do two hundred? Mm. And he's like, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. So we jump on, we get there, and he does another one, like eight hundred. You got to pay eight hundred. Mm. <laughs> Like, bro, jump, uh, we jump out and but where he dropped us off so like all of his uh, like taxi driver boys oh, are there shit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. and the there's about was oh, there's there. about there, 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 there they all like this they all standing there on the side like this and, uh, and so as soon as we jumped out of the car and he's he's talking to my mate Manu and I look over to the um to the to the other guys and I'm just standing there looking at them and Manu's having the conversation to him and Manuel just does the like very calm, very soft voice. And he like goes like right close to his face and he goes, you said 200, why are you trying to change your mind? Mm. And then he starts like screaming like, no, 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 you have to pay, you have to pay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Manuel's like getting really closer and closer, real close <laughs> to his face. And he goes, you're being naughty boy. Yeah, you're being naughty. You only get 100. You only get 100 now. And the guy's like, 800, I take you back. Screaming, yeah. screaming. And all the other boys are getting closer and closer. And I fucking looked at those boys. I don't even know if they speak English. And yeah. I said, fuck, I'll fucking go all of you right now. I'll, just, I'll fucking give you a fuck like I'll go every single one of you, you know? And then um, the Manu's still just doing the calm, speaking to him like that. And then he goes, 800 now. And then he goes, all right, that's it. Only 50 now, only 50. <laughs> and he pulls out the 50 and then the guy goes, okay. And then oh, jumps no back in the way. thing and then we left. Only paid 50. Oh, so we ended up getting a full blown discount. <laughs> like, wow. Wow. Yeah, bro. Bro. The other boys didn't want to borrow it. He didn't want to borrow it. And we just walked and went to the airport. That was it. Wow. But yeah, bro, imagine was, if you go, I'll go all of you guys. You go, you get fucking drunk. Yeah. 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 Okay, I'll go all of you sitting there like this. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. 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 I don't care. If I drop that, be good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. You deserve to drop me. <laughs> oh, Jada, Jada, how strong? Oh, fucking how strong, how strong, strong baby. Yeah. Tell shout out to the boys for nah. starting that. Eh? Bro, nah, bro. Bro. <laughs> shout out to the boys, bro. Nah, bro. Bro. So I dropped that video. That uh, uh, how strong, Lang strong. We you know the one that you use with J yeah. and up, whatever. Uh, uh. And um, when you said it, I remember it was behind the camera, and I was going, "Bro, this is amazing." <laughs> 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 I don't know what they're saying. I don't know what, what it's from. Yeah, I don't yeah. know what it is. But bros, I, I was just, I was laughing hard yeah, out, right? Yeah, Anyways, yeah. I think it was maybe, or I dropped that video. And I think that night I went down to the valley because uh, Chongy's, one, or two of his close boys um, were, were out and Chongy wanted to just go visit them quickly mm -hmm. before we made our way home. So we went out and bro, all I kept hearing the whole night, how strong, yeah. Yeah. strong. Yeah. 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 Like, that's tough. Bruh, what the heck? Like, yeah. that's you know what? These two are fucking, they're good for that, bro. bro like, just, <laughs> just on the spot. So, what, what's on it actually the spot, from? What is, it, what is that? Bro, it came on. Uh, bro, I don't know, G, when, when, when mm. I, 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 that's why We're I always emphasize around. good energy. Bro, cause we you know yeah. that cold heart dance? Yeah. Bro, that it was just from, off the yeah. fucking dust. Yeah. 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 Bro, when I feel like when I'm around good energy, bro, like and content ideas just fucking boom, boom, bro, boom. Bro, because you were just boom. like, uh, you said, uh, how strong? And you were like, too strong. Yeah. Nah, like, not too strong. Leg <laughs> strong. Leg <laughs> <laughs> strong. Oh, bro. But uh, you know, it wasn't scripted because he yeah, started laughing. Man. Well, yeah, he yeah, was yeah, laughing yeah, because yeah, it was just yeah. in the moment yeah, and it was just man. fucking hectic. You know what I mean? Wait, bro. what buzzed me out, bro? I seen when he was sharing other people's things, Everyone's like, Lang strong or how strong? I was like, bro, that's fucking yeah, 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 so, bro, so, bro, so, said, Straight like, out, no, it's come from you boys. Bro, hey, that's why. All you, bro. All you. Hey, what's this? Oh, no way. Yeah, it's a little something for all base. Oh, 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 I'll take one of us. I'll take one of us. I'll take one of us. Oh, baby. Oh, fuck, boys. Oh, I, feel, oh, so I think that's the, the wrong one actually. I feel, I gotta grab a different one. You know, mom's, oh yeah, I swear to God, God's my witness, bro. I was gonna buy one, bro. Uh, nah, nah, I'll, I'll buy one, bro. I'll grab you another yeah, one. Yeah, that's good. But I knew he was coming, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bro, tell, bro, tell us what's coming with Lagstrom. What's next, bro? Oh, bro. Um, so I did my first. Um, 
yeah, I did my yeah, first like shirt. Sing the shorts I'll grab you a new one. Yeah, yeah it's one. good, bro. It's good. Up to you. On my supplier, bro. How's it going, mate? <laughs> um, uh, I um, I did singlet and shorts, and I. Bro, literally like sold out in like two weeks. Like, and I bought a thousand units, bro. So yeah. I got rid of a thousand in literally like two weeks, bro. Fuck yeah. Like, and I was just congrats, like, bro, bro. like, what the? Like, um, and it, it makes it even funnier is that Langstrong was just something that um, like I thought about in my work you, while I was working. Mm-hmm. And like, uh, I was with my mate Manu and I was like, bro, I think I'm just gonna call like Langstrong, you know? Cause yeah. everyone's messaging me, where's the merch? Where's this? Where's yeah, that? Yeah. You know, do something. I was like, I'm just gonna have a crack, just do it, you know? And then I thought, like, oh, you know, like strong, I always want to be strong, you know? I grew yeah. up always wanting to be strong. strong. Yeah, I grew yeah. up watching WWE wrestlers and you uh, see these big uh, muscly yeah. dudes and you're just like, bro, I want to be strong like them, you know? And, I, and, you, and in my head, I always like, bro, I just want to be strong. I just want to be a superhero. I just want to be strong as, but in order to be strong, it's not so much being strong uh, physically, physically, but strong yeah. mentally, yeah. strong mm-hmm. spiritually, strong in so bro. many different ways. And then, Facts. you know, the outcome is being strong. And yeah, then I just thought, on. bro, Lang Strong, you know, Lang I'm just going to say Lang Strong. And, and I thought, ah, oh, it's a bit of a dumb name, but I'll just name it that for now. Mm. And then it could progress and change into something. But then now it's so crazy because Lang Strong means so much, so much to me now. It's yeah, something, that, sick, like, something that I just thought about while down. I was at work, lad, just yeah. sitting in the work truck, you know, just with one of the boys. Yeah. And now Langstrong means so much to me, bro. Yeah, know, bro. And uh, now I make these these garments, you know, I made the hats, I've done uh, singlet shorts and mm. I've got all different stuff. I've got backpack bum bags, you know, yeah, all different lad. stuff coming out now. Yeah. And um, yeah, bro, it's, it's just- That's crazy, crazy, bro. Crazy, bro. Crazy, bro. Crazy, bro. story, yeah. bro. Let me suck your balls, <laughs> 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 bro. That's How strong Langstrong. Where's your, like you said, is your spot to think and like come up with ideas. Was that in the truck? What? How strong? Lang strong? No, no, no. no like, you just, know when you come up. We were talking about this. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Last year, bro. Like, where, where's your thinking where's, spot? Yeah, your thinking oh, spot? where's your bro, thinking spot? Is it now? gym or uh, is it? Bro, I can't stop thinking, bro. Right now, like now, I'm in a space like at, at a time where like I'll be at the grocery store and I'll just be like. Oh, mm. that's a mad video. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. And it's just nonstop, bro. I like. Everywhere I go, I've got the mics, I've got the like tripod, I've got everything because yeah. I mean, Who I make knows? videos full times now yeah. and whatever I think of, I just send it, bro. Even if it's only like a small idea because sometimes I'll think of an idea and I'll yeah. be like, that's oh, not all that, but then yeah. I'll make the video and it'll just be You're done, like, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it'll just be like absolutely amazing. So what me and Chongy do, cause Chongy lives with me now. Shout and out. Um, yeah, shout out Chongy. Yeah, and, um, I'll send him voice messages and I'll be like, bro, I got this idea. We're gonna do this and we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this. And I'll yeah. send it to him and then he'll just be like, yeah, Keen, we'll film it on this day. Mm. And then that day we'll just film that video. And then, you know, sometimes it'll pop, sometimes it won't pop. Yeah. Mm. But sometimes the videos that you didn't think were gonna pop, sometimes Otherwise they, they go hard, yeah. yeah. bro. So bro. I'm, I'm just always thinking, bro. And like, uh, but when I was working seven days a week, I did security um, Friday, Saturday, and then Sunday to Thursday, I did uh, traffic control and we'd sit in the work truck. Mm. And bro, that was definitely that a, was spot a spot yeah, yeah. where I used to just, spot? bro, just think and research. And cause I'd be on my phone, I'd just be researching and just doing different yeah. stuff and mm. find out more information and constantly trying to learn and everything like that. That's yeah. That's heck right, where's your thinking spot? Where were we saying? You said driving. Bro, my, mine's driving. Cause we live in GC and obviously we do the potties and, in Red Bank, bro, that that's an hour, bro. Yeah. So we're constantly driving just all the time, bro. I just pumping podcasts, Spitballing. just thinking, bro. Sometimes I I drive with no nothing on, bro. My thoughts are so loud, bro. Yeah. It's so yeah. fucked. I'm like, could just think of shit. Yeah, bro. Right, then I'll, bro. I'll, I'm that guy, bro. If I think of something, I'll call that person. I'm like, bro, I got an idea, bro. Yeah. I want to do this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we're the same, like, yeah, that's yeah, literally bro. what like, I do, bro. I do the yeah, same bro. thing. And that and the toilet. Yeah. <laughs> the toilet, yeah, the yeah. toilet, bro. I'm just on yeah. my phone. Look at my. I just edit, bro. I edit yeah. on the toilet, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Editing videos, bro. What's your What's your longest like edit time? The longest? Yeah, like like what, how long do you do you stick Does on videos? Take, yeah. Oh, bro, I don't Not know. Not too long, it, eh? It, oh, I, I I mean, obviously, I've I've gotten pretty good at this craft of making videos that appeal to to um to the audience, mm. but um. Yeah, I get, I'm pretty quick at them, but it, it all depends, you know, does the video yeah. need captions? Does the video need certain type yeah, of music, yeah. you know? Yeah. And um, I'll, I'll give you a little little Jaden Lang little tip, you know, yeah. for, for making videos or whatever. So it has to be, has to tick. Um, I think I've got three, three check marks that I do before oh, I upload a video, yeah. Yeah. right? So it either has to be like absolutely hilariously funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like it has to be funny as, yeah, yeah. right? It has to be funny as, or it has to be uh, relatable. Yeah. Mm. So it has to be something where you watch it and you go, 
Oh, yeah. I can relate to that, yeah, right? Yeah. Or I, maybe I want to send it to someone else yeah. that is going to relate to them. You. Yeah. 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 Or it has to provide That's some sort of value. So it has to be informational where I mm -hmm. learn something. If mm -hmm. it doesn't tick one of those three, then it's not worthy of an upload, yeah, 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 right? Yeah, and if a video has all three, that's a bang. Yeah, that's yeah, gonna pop. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna pop. Oh, so yeah, 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 that's a little tip that I use. Um, hey, take notes, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bro, honest, uh, that, that's another thing that I, that, I, that I even wanna do is just help people yeah. um, making uh, social media videos and that. Cause yeah, I feel like, yeah. I feel like I, I do pretty good yeah. at making these social media videos. Bro, and if it. I can help other people, yeah. you know, promote their stuff. Yeah. Mm. I, I thoroughly enjoy that that yeah, process so, as well. Yeah, so yeah. um, yeah, maybe another little bizzo. That's little, bad. Yeah. Along yeah. The way. Is, yeah, do you reckon it's underused social media? What underused? Yeah, do you reckon it could be used more by a lot of people? Oh, I feel like a lot of people Businesses. don't know how to use it. Yeah, one hundred percent. Like so, uh, a lot of people make videos and make promotional stuff mm. um, mm. through their own lens, whereas you have do to do what they think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Was, whereas I could watch a video. Well, I could watch a video of myself like lifting some weights and I'll think, oh, I look quite good in that 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 part. Or mm. I'll be like, oh, I like that part. Oh, I like that. But is that part going to appeal to my audience? Mm. And that's what you have to think. And you have to think like <clears throat> so much like, um, like I've got to watch this video like I'm not myself. Yeah. So when I make this video, I have to think, all right, now I'm Tosanga and I'm going to watch this. At any stage, do I feel bored? Do, at any stage, do I not care about what's going on? Mm. Do, at any stage, did, did this video not entertain me? Yeah. Because if it does, if it's one of those, then I've got to change that. I've got to change mm. that. Yeah. Because, um, yeah, bro, like a lot of people think, oh, that part's cool and that means something to me, but it could mean absolutely nothing so to, to the, yeah, the whole audience. Yeah, 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 bro. Mm. So, you know, applying that within your video editing and your filming and ideas will really contribute yeah, to um, helping your videos yeah, pop. Oh, yeah, I man. love I love the whole oh, video creating and it stuff makes so like much that. sense, bro. You're so creative with what you upload and shit. You can see you love like it. It's, eh? Yeah, it's not the same as every other uh, influencer or social media personalities. Yeah. Oh, do. bro, that's what I take pride in, in yeah. not doing what everyone else yeah. does. I like it's to do what bro. I like. Very and authentic, that's it, bro. Oh, thank you. So I appreciate yeah, that, man. bro. Honestly, because uh, honestly, <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing this a long time. <laughs> man. <laughs> nah, so no, I, like I said, bro, I love making videos, bro, I, and yeah. I'm just very blessed that people watch it. That's now, it, um, even if no one was watching, I'll still be making videos, bro. Because yeah. uh, yeah, I just love making videos, man. I love being myself, and this is the person I am. People, I've, I always have people come up to me, and when they meet me, they'll be like, "Bro, you're the same as your videos," and yeah, I'm like, "Because yeah. it's not an act, lad. I'm just yeah, myself, yeah, yeah, yeah. bro. Like having a laugh, like mucking around. Yeah, yeah. And just like that day, we went to the gym, and we we're just doing funny shit, yeah, having, you know, yeah, back and like, forth, cracking up, mucking around. Funny, That's yeah. how I live my life every day, bro. That's bad, yeah, bro. Because yeah. you've you've broken into like all um, content fields, like you you know. Yeah. A lot of the, uh, the, the promotional, the island, yeah, like then, the islands, yeah. and then you got the gym people or the yeah, gym fanatic. Yeah. You do content with them. Yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't have a niche exactly. No, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Because I, uh, bro, I'll walk You're around. Very, um, you can broad. fit into a niche. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, well, yeah, I um, yeah, I feel like I can do anything, bro. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. I'm free I'm, spirit, bro, bro. I just feel like I can do anything. Yeah, if you star just, sign, um, no, you're very caring. I feel like um. Well, I mean, even this whole po podcast thing, like sparking up my whole podcast, yeah. mm. bro, I don't know nothing about that equipment. I don't know nothing about lighting, editing, and all that different mm. stuff, but I'm just putting myself in the deep end and having a crack, yeah, bro. Yeah, you sure. know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like, um, you know, uh, not trying to get like, you know, too, you know, Bible and everything like that, but I feel like every time I doubt myself, I doubt God. Yeah, and mm. love that, bro. I, bro, because at the end of the day, God gave me these, these, uh, talents, abilities, yeah. and skills. Yeah, Every day that I don't utilize them is absolutely oh. disrespectful to yeah. God mm. because he yeah. has blessed you with them. God, and, come and on, and that's, that's honestly how I think of it, bro. Yeah. I, I, I can honestly do anything, bro. And there's nothing that I cannot do, bro. Like, I'll I do backflips, that, I'll, I'll travel, I'll do this, I'll, I'll climb mountains. Yeah, yeah. Whereas, uh, I'll, I can do anything, lad. Yeah. yeah. Come yeah. on, bro. That's yeah. tough, bro. Just, hey, I said it when the camera's busted. off, you the fucking man. Straight Just blessed, bro. Honestly, yeah. blessed. <laughs> I'm just blessed, man. Bro, I, love life, man. Bro, I love my life, man. I love my life. I love my life. You should love yours too. <laughs> Come on, man. That's hectic, bro. bro. What, 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 like, where did you find the motivation to like, fuck, I'm going to do this regardless? Mm. Bro, because people, bro, the content game is so much harder than people think, bro. Oh, it's hard. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Hard. What yeah. makes you do it every fucking day, even when you didn't crack it? Um, see, 
some people get into um, content and making videos so that they, they can get views and they can um, get all the things that come with your videos popping off. Mm. Yeah. That's what they want. Yeah. Uh, I, I never came into making videos it's for that. I didn't even yeah, think that yeah. was a possibility. Just loved it. I grew up like watching um, like uh, Cougar Boys, yeah, you know, like yeah, Terrell yeah, and yeah, all stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. And um, I watched those videos and I and like Super Wog. Oh, I watched, bro, I watched that kind back. of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, bro, and I watched that stuff and I thought, bro, that is hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. And like, I just, I just had a special connection to it. And I thought to myself, wow, I want to do that. Like yeah, that's yeah, sick. Yeah, like yeah. I want to, I want to make videos mm. and my love or like, video creating started from riding scooters. So you've also seen like Jackass and that yeah, and how they yeah, make yeah. like skateboard videos. Yeah. So when I was riding scooters, our number one goal was to make um, scooter, videos. scooter videos. So that's that's how I started making videos. And then from that, it's just constantly progressed. And then gym videos and then the traveling videos, hiking mm, videos yeah, yeah. and everything like that. And it's just constantly continuously progressed. But I loved making videos and it's just, I mean, now social media is such a huge platform mm -hmm. and, um, or oh, it's the platform. Yeah, and, yeah um, 100. And uh, yeah, I guess so many things have come from my love for making videos. Yeah. So for someone who is like, oh, like uh, motivation in terms of trying to pop or get popular in social yeah. media, mm -hmm. oh, I, I, to be honest, I wouldn't be able to help yeah, you yeah. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. Um, I, the advice I would give to you is, what do you like and mm -hmm. what do you like doing? Mm -hmm. And let's make videos about that. Mm -hmm. And then, see how they go because you know what nine times out of ten there's gonna be someone else who likes that as well yeah. and who yeah, enjoys yeah. that as well yeah you know what i mean so yeah i don't i don't have a niche bro i just do whatever i want and then, because i like it and yeah, yeah. It's gonna to appeal to someone out there. The most cracked Jackass, yeah. bro. <laughs> we're just we're just ass, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we're just ass, bro. So like, I grew up watching all that stuff, bro. Yeah, I love that. Like, bro, what about when when um when Superwalk first came out? Oh, bro, shout he's out the Superwalk, man. Bro. What a bro. Superwalk, bro. He's bro, a funny guy, bro. How how crazy is that? He was onto it like way before, before anyone, anyone yeah, bro. would. Bros, like would. At, at that time, not even no YouTube one. was like yeah. crazy yeah. popular. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? And he was just making these banger videos. You know what I mean? And <laughs> Slapping, bro. Bros, I would love to know where that all started. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? But um, so uh, I, I we watched um uh like Superwalk, me and my cousins and stuff like that. And then, then we watched Cougar Boys. Cause yeah. for me, that that's where like, my first realization was, bro, Islanders, like these yeah. are Islanders yeah. making videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I used to watch the way Terrell um, edited his videos mm -hmm. and the videos that he made. And I was just like, bros, this guy's the man. Yeah. I want to be like that. Yeah, and then yeah. um, not, this promised land that just went past last, last, last year's yeah. one. I, I met him and I was be you know, be how's it going? I had a couple of drinks or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. And I just walked straight up to him and I shook his head. And uh, so Terrell commented on my first ever TikTok video. Yeah. Oh, real? Yeah. Way. And that, the, was, that was that one? Nah. So my first ever TikTok video was just me and my family um, doing, it was like a stair. Um, on the stairs, uh, it's it a song that goes da 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 da. da, da, da. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I did yeah. that one. That that video got three hundred k, and Terrell commented on it, and all these other like verified TikTokers yeah, commented yeah. on it. And I thought, holy moly, yeah. this is my first ever TikTok video, and Terrell commented on it and everything like that. And I thought, yeah. wow, like yeah. bro, I, I I look up to this Terrell guy hard, mm. and um, and it. And, so then when I first, then I finally met him and I shook his hand and everything like that. And I was just like, bro, you're actually the man, eh? Like, my, I would love to be able to make a video with you one yep. day. And he said, all right, Monday. <laughs> and I was like, straight away. Done, done. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we went to the gym and I, and I met him and I got to like, you know, yeah. get a little bit of an insight into his story and how he started making videos and everything yeah. like that. And um, bro, he's the man, eh? He's a yeah. real top guy, bro, a really yeah, good guy. Bro. And uh, you know what's funny? He was another one that loves Superwalk. So oh, a really? lot of a lot of his um, inspiration and in, in the, the the things Influence, that the Cougar Boys yeah. did were influenced by Super Warg as well. Oh, yeah. no way. How crazy is that? That's hey? crazy. How that crazy, bro. Mm. Holy fuck. Can you believe they've got a Netflix series now? Hey, bro. Yeah, bro. How crazy is that? So Super even Warg, when I yeah. when I travel to different Gangster. countries, uh, your Netflix will then go to like like Turkish Netflix yeah, 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 or whatever, yeah, yeah. bro. They're on the Netflix and all oh, different real? countries, lad, all what? over the world, bro. <laughs> like, how good is that? Hey, <laughs> that's that, is he from Melbourne? Melbourne, Sydney. He's from Sydney. Surely Sydney. Sydney. Yeah. Is he? I don't yeah. know. I don't know. He, look, I don't he looks like he's from Melbourne. No, no, he, I'm pretty sure he's from Sydney. Yeah, mad. Because I've been following him since I was in high school, like yeah. year seven, bro. Yeah. Watching his videos. Bro, I want to meet the brother. 
He's bro, he's the, the funniest, funniest, the funniest ever. Bro. Yeah, like, when he bro. turns into the, the Aussie dad, dad. Hey. Oh, <laughs> Aussie son. dad's the best. Son, bro, bro, have, have you put your socks up, mate. <laughs> <laughs> bro, have you have, have you watched Jonah from Tonga? Yeah, yeah, Chris Lilly. <laughs> yeah, this guy's in Jonah from Tonga. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What did you have to do? I was uh, part of Juvielicious. <laughs> They came to church. <laughs> <laughs> Honest to you. Yeah, I, swear, I got a free church. They came to church and um fucking they got like six of us to come to their studio. We had to sing and we had to like Try and act or something. <laughs> That's crazy. Bro, we ended up singing Amazing Grace. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, yeah, you're in. <laughs> and you got the gig like that. <laughs> That's delicious, baby. So, you, uh, so you full met Chris Lilly and everything. Yeah. yeah. That's How nuts, good. bro. Bro, imagine that. Like, your mom, bro. Oh, my, we're going to be in a TV series. She watches the TV series. Turn off Fancy Games. Fancy Games. We must see Chris Lilly mocking us fucking Polynesians. Bro, to God, how bro. funny is that? Bro, bro. that took a little yeah, off. Yeah, cool like, experience, bro. He's getting dragged now, eh? What do you mean? Like he's uh, people. Oh yeah, I think bro, yeah. everyone, just, age, bro. Yeah, everyone yeah, yeah. just gets offended by anything, bro. Yeah. No, but back then, bro, it was the funny shit. Everyone's like, yeah, yeah, but now like people are like, oh, Did you imagine that gets released today? Oh yeah. yeah, yeah completely yeah, different to back yeah, then. Yeah, he's yeah, the yeah, funny. I reckon soft. he's like the Australian version of Kim Peel, bro. Bro. Oh, bro you reckon? The, yeah, yeah. Like, like, he does he's all these different bro. He's actually a gun lad. Um when I first watched it, I thought Wow, this is so funny. And everyone, I reckon like, you know, at schools where you did have that Islander kid yeah, could yeah. relate so 100%. much to that. Yeah. And I was just like, I'm so glad he's Tongan. <laughs> <laughs> so glad. Eh? <laughs> like, Some boys would never do that. <laughs> that's that's what made it oh bad. God, it was bro. accurate. Eh? So he was hitting it on the head. Bro, shit, bro, that's it. Oh hundred percent, bro. Gosh, bro. But, but imagine but those no, tools, bro. Not the way he was towards his dad and that. Like, that was a bit far-fetched. Yeah, no. Nah, I never yeah. met a Tongan like but that. But that's what I mean. Imagine the Tongans. He went to Tonga. Yeah, yeah. And acting. Like, in Tonga. In Tonga, yeah. bro. Like, Actually, yeah. yeah. Now clock. I think about that, eh? The way he You've was. You've never met a Tongan like that. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, not like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But I think it was the, the it's, facade that yeah. he was putting up. I think that was the bit that caught everyone's attention. It was like, hey, I know a, I know a Tongan guy. Fuck, is he like that? You yeah, know, yeah. type of thing. But it was like, yeah, that or that whole thing was cool, cool experience. But yeah, probably never go on it again. Juvelicious <laughs> <laughs> baby, Juvelicious <laughs> baby. <laughs> baby, come, come on. on <laughs> hey, but hey, bro. we got to come to an end, man. We've had a mad a job, chat, bro. bro. <laughs> hey, thank you, Mulsa. Well, Thanks for having us, lad. Bro, bro. Appreciate everything you do, man. Hey, guys, make sure you like, share, subscribe to our YouTube channel, man. Come on. Hey, hey. The more you subscribe. Helps the algorithm and all this other bullshit. We're nearly at 20k, bro. We're pushing 20k for 100%, a few weeks, bro. bro. We've got a few more. Come on, baby. Tap that button. Bro, hey. Before we finish up, you got anything that you want to say to anyone that's trying to do something with their life? One oh. piece of advice to finish off the potty. <laughs> Anyone's just trying to do something? Yeah. Oh, bro, go out and do it, lad. Um, just like I said, man, uh, God gives you all these talents and blessings and everything like that. Every day that you don't do it, is absolutely disrespect. Not only that, I mean, I, I don't know or how your guys' parents, whether they were, you know, first generation here or whatever, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Your, your parents came to Australia or New Zealand or something like that to give you more opportunities mm. in this amazing country that we mm -hmm. live in, right? Um, if you decide that you want to be a gangster or tough mm. guy or, or do something stupid like that, then that is absolutely disrespectful to mm. your parents who did absolutely everything they could to yeah, come yeah. here come to on, give bro. you even more opportunities in this country that we live in. And um, yeah, man, the, the best thing that you can do is just go out there and have a crack, man. Utilize these opportunities that you've been given and that you um, that you can also create for yourself so that you can make your parents proud. That's it, bro. Come on, bro. Bro. Hey, what you heard it here first. What and Jaden Lamb, bro. How strong? <laughs> strong, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go.